Welcome, food lovers. You think you know good food? Today, we're diving into the world of Vietnamese cuisine, a cuisine so damn delicious it'll make your taste buds sing. We're about to embark on a culinary adventure exploring the top Michelin-starred Vietnamese restaurants in the USA. We're talking about the best of the best, the culinary geniuses who've taken Vietnamese food to a whole new level. From the streets of Hanoi to the bright lights of New York City, these chefs have poured their hearts and souls into every dish. Get ready for an explosion of flavor. We'll be diving into steaming bowls of fur, savoring perfectly cooked spring rolls, and indulging in dishes that'll make you question everything you thought you knew about food. So buckle up, you food lovers. This is going to be one hell of a ride. First up, we're heading to sunny California, the heart of Little Saigon to Fur 79. This place is an institution, a culinary landmark that's been serving up bowls of fur so good, they'll make you weep. If you are no stranger to the slurp, then Fur 79 is likely already on your circuit. After all, this place is an institution. Opened in the early 80s, it's widely considered to ladle some of the best and most praiseworthy fur in Southern California. The simple interior is enlivened by a bright yellow wall adorned with numerous accolades. It's spartan but clean, and you're here for the fur, not the fashion show. Place your name on the clipboard by the front door and expect a wait. Once seated, peruse the extensive menu, which runs the gamut from egg noodle soups and goi kuan, to appetizers and desserts along with many varieties of the eponymous dish. Crowds have descended upon this shop for tremendous bowls of Ferdac Vieille brimming with brisket, tripe, and beef meatballs. Fixings can be added and subtracted based on individual tastes, but the broth, rich from long-simmered oxtails and fragrant from charred onions and star anise, is universally slurpable. You'll never go wrong with oxtail. It's the most popular with good reason. Their fur is so good that Michelin awarded them 2021 Bib Gourmand for good quality and good value cooking. Next up, we're heading north to the city by the Bay San Leandro, home to Top Hatter's Kitchen. A stone's throw from the 580, but seemingly a world apart, this handsome locale, ensconced in the arbored suburban quietude of San Leandro, offers a uniquely pleasurable experience. This ain't your grandma's Vietnamese restaurant, folks. Husband and wife co-owners Matthew Beavers and Dan V. Vu opted to honor this fixture's former life as a family-owned hat shop by keeping the name, and the well-crafted cocktails are also dubbed with nods to millinery. Chef Vu leads the kitchen, and her skillful contemporary combination of Vietnamese and Californian flavors is tantalizing. Crunchy seared rice cakes come packed with savory goodness, and meltingly tender braised oxtail over creamy grits have unusual depth. Half Moon Bay grilled whole rockfish is a popular item among patrons. If you have a small group with fish lover, this is a can't miss item. Don't forget to try grilled oyster for appetizer. Each dish is a work of art, bursting with flavor and creativity. For a pillow soft landing, finish with the signature lemon ricotta zeppole, offered with a trio of luscious sauces. The fried sesame mochi with coconut pandan cream and ginger syrup is a heavenly end to a delicious meal. They are open every day for lunch from 12 to 3, and dinner starting at 4.45 except for Monday. Most items are around $20. The rockfish is between $42 to $56 depending on the size. Right, next up we're heading to the heart of America, Chicago. This place has become a staple for those who appreciate a blend of cultures and exquisite dining experiences. Husband and wife Sun Do and Chin Farm tell stories of their childhood in Saigon at this gem on bustling Belmont restaurant Sochi Saigon Kitchen. The moniker is a marriage of their names, which not only enhances the charm factor but also makes total sense considering they were high school sweethearts. A set of glass doors marks the entry to this bright, modern space, fitted with a leather banquette and lush, colorful planters. The menu is modern Vietnamese with a focus on ingredient sourcing. Dishes display immense depth, so come hungry to sample the duck salad with banana blossoms. Or fur, that national treasure with bone broth, flat rice noodles, wagyu short rib, and aromatics aplenty. Ben Tang Market Salad is a must try. I know salad man? It sounds boring as hell, but the dish is nothing but boring. 
vermicelli noodles topped with grilled pork together with pickled carrots. Pour the Nuwak Mom sauce over this dish and you can't help come back again for it. The original egg rolls are the great starter choice. This is the only way to start your meal. Moist ground beef, shrimp, taro, mushroom, and vermicelli are all packaged into thin rice paper rolls whose crispiness is what every SoundCloud producer is trying to sample and use as a hi-hat. Wrap these in the lettuce leaves and dunk them into the tangy and sweet fish sauce for added freshness and umami. And the Slap Yo Mama Crab Fried Rice remains the best fried rice I've ever had. Courtesy of the butter garlic sauce with Slap Yo Mama seasoning, this fried rice is like those packed bags you get at Cajun Seafood Boils minus the bag and the fishy garlic smell that will live with your fingers for the next three days. It's salty and spicy with a bold seafood flavor from the crab, shrimp, and masago. Plus, you get some added freshness from the scallion and cilantro. It has so much crab meat mixed with all the other wonderful ingredients and flavors. It's really something special. Desserts may change, but if the cassava cake or coffee flan are on offer, jump on it. Coffee flan is a fun take on Vietnamese coffee with extra creaminess and boldness thanks to the coconut milk and rum infused into the flan. The flan is light with a custardy smoothness, but we wish it was sweeter to counteract the bitterness of the coffee. I recommend removing the crushed ice. While it can provide the texture, it can lead some bites end up too watery. The restaurant awarded Bib Gourmand by Michelin for their good quality of food. It can get a little pricey, especially if you're having a couple drinks, but sharing is a great way to try different dishes. With drinks, an appetizer, and an entry can cost about $50 per person. Sochi is open Wednesday and Thursday from 4 to 8.30 at night. On Friday and Saturday, they open until 9.30 and close Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. All right, we continue with another Michelin Bib Gourmand in Chicago. This passion project of Chef Tai Dong and wife Danielle offers refined Vietnamese cuisine in a plum setting. It's a love letter to Vietnamese cuisine, a heartfelt tribute to the flavors and techniques passed down through generations. They're all about using fresh local ingredients and traditional cooking techniques to create dishes that are bursting with flavor, each bite telling a story. Their creation is so good that Michelin award them Bib Gourmand every year since 2018 to 2022. The menu, divided into five sections, is filled with wonderful, lesser-known, and possibly unexpected dishes you won't want to miss. The restaurant offers many seating options, an open kitchen fringed with comfy seats, a bar area for cocktails, and perhaps an order of those famous chicken wings, as well as two dining rooms, one with communal seating. You can tell that they're passionate about sharing their culture through their food, each dish crafted with love and care. Ka Jien, or fried whole fluke, is excellent and can be shared by several Boon Ja Hanoi is their take on the famous Hanoi-style grilled pork patties with rice noodle. If you come with a number of friends or family, you should try the grand seafood tower that comes with grilled oysters, colossal shrimp, octopus, and shrimp ceviche. Don't leave without sampling the goi du du, papaya salad, followed by ja, a Vietnamese rice pudding with coconut, sesame, and toasted peanuts. The drink menu contains many exotic drinks created by Danielle. So if you're looking for a taste of Vietnam that's both authentic and delicious, a place where every meal is a celebration, come and enjoy a dining experience at Jesus Vietnamese Kitchen. Diners beware parking is difficult. No valet available. Free street parking available. On 18th Street, parts of S. Carpenter Saint and plenty on 17th and 16th Street. Pilsen Yards down the street has valet. The restaurant is open Wednesday to Saturday from 4 to 9 at night. Open for brunch on Sunday from 10 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Then reopen for dinner from 4 to 8 at night. All right, we're off to vibrant New York City, the Big Apple. Making the point that Vietnamese food is more than just cold banh mi and big bowls of pho, this elegant spot in the East Village celebrates other specialties across the three regions of Vietnam. Van Da is a Vietnamese restaurant with a lounge-like bar area on the ground floor and a little basement dining room that will make you feel chic. It's a cool spot, and sitting outside in the tented parklet is the perfect setting for catching up with a friend you haven't seen in a year while making your way through a variety of regional Vietnamese dishes. 
Go heavy on starters from the royal city of Hue like Bon Boat Lok, a shrimp and pork tapioca dumplings wrapped in banana leaves and bon sal, the crispy turmeric rice pancakes with coconut cream and herbs. Hanoi's stir-fried fur noodles with trumpet mushrooms benefits from a good lashing of tableside hot sauce. A must-try is that their new spin on Vietnamese fur comes with a short rib grilled cheese served with a cup of fur broth. And finally, from Saigon, Ba Luk Lok or shaking beef with crispy smashed potatoes and rice is a comforting classic. An attractive bar slinging creative cocktails upstairs is another distinguished addition, as well as a fantastic downstairs dining room that oozes intimacy and comfort. A drink, appetizer, main course, and dessert will set you back around $50 per person. The restaurant is open Tuesday to Saturday from 5 to 9.30 in the evening. Moving further south on the East Coast to the sunshine state of Florida, warm beach and world-class destination for Culture City of Miami. Don't even think about serving me some bland, boring fur and spring roll offerings, which aren't offered here. I want something that excites my taste buds. This Michelin-recommended restaurant in Miami is bringing the heat with its creative Vietnamese menu, blending tradition with innovation. Husband and husband team Tom Farm and Harrison Ramhofer are throwing a party on their own terms. Their creation is a Quan Nho, like a Vietnamese pub that's a staple of Saigon's social life where you get together with friends, spending time drinking and eating. But to say it's a pub can sound like the main event is drinking. Not in my book. It's the glorious food. The menu is divided into smaller, larger, and sweet dishes. Almost all of the dishes are priced in the teens. There is no bouncer by the door. Instead, come as you are for this celebration of Vietnamese cooking that started out as a supper club. Much welcome were the unusual vegetable offerings of lotus root salad with pork belly, shrimps, pickles, herbs, crispy shallot, peanuts, and rice crackers. Another standout was the lamb wrap situation. You use the lettuce leaf as a wrap with a lamb patty, noodles, cucumber, pineapple, peanuts, scallion oil, peanuts, bean curd, and herbs. It was a perfect combo of sweet and savory. The menu here is a love letter to Vietnamese cuisine, but with a contemporary flair that redefines traditional dishes. They're not afraid to experiment with flavors and push the boundaries of tradition, creating something truly unique like the jungle steak tartare, made with wagyu steak, egg yolk, edible flowers, sesame rice cracker, and fire ant salt, sourced from Vietnam's Central Highlands. It's Vietnamese food, but not as you know it. Expect the unexpected with every bite. You should try the scallop pomelo with coconut nuke jam. There's an extensive wine list, no surprise since it's about drinking too. There's a limited list of wines by the glass, starting at $13, but never fear. Bottles start at $42. There's also rice wine, beer, spiked Viet iced coffee, and a passion daiquiri in the cocktail department. The 36-seat eatery with a counter has a friendly, lively vibe that you'd find in a neighborhood restaurant. Service is professional and warm. Finish with a slice of cheesecake made with cultured cashew cream and topped with passion fruit jelly. Bold, funky, and fun, the restaurant is a good time all around, down to the hidden karaoke machine. All their afford was recognized by Michelin Guide and awarded Bib Gourmand in 2023 for good quality and good value cooking. The restaurant is open Tuesday to Saturday from 5.30 to 10.30 at night, close on Sunday and Monday. If you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to subscribe, like, and share for more amazing content on the best restaurants in the world. Travel north about 15 minutes onto Biscayne Boulevard, you'll find Fu H. Ye. As one of the restaurants credited with helping the resurgence of the historic Mimo District, before that it served as Miami's original pop-up restaurant, fueled by old school hip hop, graffiti, and a love of life, Zapata and Meinhold's interpretation of Vietnamese cuisine is deeply rooted in family recipes inspired by the flavors of the Mekong. Part Cajun, part Latin, part Vietnamese, this is not your classic Vietnamese restaurant, but the next level. They call it modern Vietnamese, but the reality is that Pho Ye's cuisine is a personal expression of who Meinhold and Zapata are, where they've been, and where they're going. The colorful and industrial setting is a perfect backdrop for dishes like caramel chicken wings, spicy chicken wings doused in fish sauce, caramel, garlic butter, lemongrass, and chilies. 
Millionaire fried rice is supercharging what can be a bland side dish and making it a standout star with truffle and egg for the perfect creamy mouthfeel. Char Siu black cod might be the most mind-blowing thing on the menu, presenting an incredibly flaky and delicate cod with the depth of flavor of a chewy and gooey Char Siu pork rib. A combo that shouldn't work together, but the chef somehow pulled it off. And the simple but flavorful PY noodles. The signature house noodles are bathed in garlic butter, oyster sauce, and parmesan. Try the green papaya salad, in which chilies, garlic, dried shrimp, and squid, and Vietnamese coriander are pulverized into a potent paste that's tossed with toothsome papaya threads, carrots, and sweet cherry tomatoes, then crowned with banana blossom ribbons, shallots, and herbs. The Jia Zhou, or crispy imperial rolls, is a must. Don't forget the drink menu. Try the Sei Ge or Fung's Den. On Sundays, indulge in Fu Chie's spirited brunch. Another plus, its lively bar serves as a top spot for a post-meal drink or happy hour. That irresistible combo earned Caesar Zapata and Ani Meinhold's Upper East Side Mainstay a Michelin Bib Gourmand designation in 2022. The restaurant is open Wednesday to Saturday from 5 to 10 at night. Sunday from 12 to 9 at night. All right, folks, let's move to Central Florida to Orlando, home to two of the Michelin-awarded Vietnamese restaurants. Z Asian is owned by Hien Farm and his wife, Chef Huang Nguyen. Chef Nguyen Mission is trying to educate American diners that Vietnamese food is more than fur. In fact, the beef noodle soups that are so prevalent on Vietnamese menus in this country are not so in Vietnam. More often, fur is eaten as a breakfast food than a dinner item. Simple on the outside, this casual gem is beloved for its distinctively bold dishes and thoughtful design. As you enter, you'll notice their name emblazoned on a black wall. Other stylish details include hanging lanterns, ceiling fans, and artwork throughout. The aura is Southeast Asian, not unlike the focused Vietnamese cooking. Dishes are flavorful, bursting with nuance and balance. Behold the simple yet sublime Zian Yor, small dish, like sauteed bok choy with crispy garlic, crispy quails, little bits of bird that looked like oversized chicken wings and frankly had more meat, pan fried and served with a lime sauce. I loved the well-crisped skin. And bonsel, crispy turmeric crepe with shrimp, Thinly sliced pork and a tangy fish sauce is a must try. Furte brings nostalgia to the forefront with that classic beef broth, a float with rice noodles, eye of round steak and scallions. Donning a host of aromatics, bean sprouts, lime, and jalapeno, it is a riot of flavor. It's no surprise that Z Asian was recognized by Michelin as Bib Gourmand for 2022 and was invited to Michelin Award Ceremony in 2023 because it was awarded Bib Gourmand two years in a row. Our final destination takes us to Camille, a Vietnamese haven nestled in the heart of Orlando. This is the only Vietnamese restaurant in the entire United States that awarded one star by Michelin Guide. Chef Tung Pan has taken the pop-up and given it permanence at this space just off Lake Baldwin. Incredibly beautiful interior. It's boldly sleek with elegant touches. Think wood accents and beautiful lighting. Seats at the counter feature the 10-course Vietnamese French tasting menu, while booths offer an abbreviated version. The attention to every single little detail carries through to the food. Rooted in French techniques, Vietnamese flavors are given a refined twist here. The Dungeness crab curry arrives with a tartlet shell, filled with crab meat and mixed with lime, served atop the lid, which when removed reveals a deliciously hearty curry. Salmon over king trumpet noodles in a tamarind and pineapple sauce is creative, but the best may be saved for last. The sweet potato brioche topped with a gold chocolate ice cream and Vietnamese coffee sauce is an elegant finale. The atmosphere is sophisticated and elegant, making it the perfect spot for a romantic dinner or a night out with friends. Camille is a testament to the beauty of Vietnamese cuisine, showcasing the freshest flavors and the most stunning presentation. You can either book a signature chef's counter reservation for party between one to eight people at the cost of $195 per person. The Camille Dining Room is a condensed five course chef's menu for two to four people and cost $120 per person. 
The restaurant is open Wednesday to Saturday from 5 to 10 at night. It's a culinary journey you won't soon forget. Well, there you have it. Nine of the most incredible Vietnamese restaurants in the United States. From the bustling streets of Los Angeles to the vibrant heart of Orlando, these restaurants are pushing the boundaries of Vietnamese cuisine, delivering an explosion of flavors with every bite. Remember, this is just a taste of what's out there. Get out there, explore, and discover your own hidden gems. And for God's sake, don't be afraid to try something new. You might just surprise yourself. Thanks for joining me on this delicious journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more culinary adventures. Until next time, happy eating.